Hello, everyone. We will continue that topic. Now, same if first radio button is capital X, we will call this method. If second radio button is capital X, we will call this method. And I will simply take a reference from previous program because so many times we did this thing. We'll write start of selection. I will declare a object. Type ref2, but is my class name? Class one. This is my class. I will create the object. Now we all know how to call the method, interface method. If first radio button is capital X, I will call the first interface method. How to call? object as it is the instance method so i will write hyphen n greater than key this is my method interface name tilde operator method name we all know whenever we will call import will become export export will become import and this logic i will copy paste because so many times we did the same thing Now, if second radio button is capital X, I will call the second interface method. Now, the method is billing. Here, I will write billing. Now, I will declare these four variables. Why I'm taking the reference? Because so many times we did the repetitive things and you all are comfortable as of now. I'll check the syntax. I'll just check what the error is. Interface, sorry. This is our interface two has the method billing. Yes. Now I'm activating the program. I'll just go for the flow what we did in this program. We took two interfaces first interface there is a method billing Sec first interface there is a method sales second interface there is a method billing we used both the interfaces into a class in the first method first interface method we wrote the code for the vbak because in the class you can write a code. So we wrote the code into the sales method. We wrote a code into the billing method from VBRK table. We call the sales method. If first radio button is ticked, we call the billing method of second interface. If second radio button is ticked, I'll show you in that debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint at all the four places. I'm running the program. Suppose three. First radio button, capital X, object is created. It will call the first interface method. Okay. And this is my code which I wrote to fetch data from VBAKK. Now, this is my 
it is. Now, if I'll go for second radio button and I will click on execute, my second radio button will be capital X, object is created. It will call my VBRK launch. And this is my. So this is we finish the topic of multiple inheritance. Now, I'll just spend two minutes that what we did in these last 10 to 11 videos. We always, always achieved the requirement to display the sales order slash billing details. What we did first. Firstly, we achieved the same to same requirement means sales order and billing order details display using abstract class. At that time, what we did? We took a abstract method and we did the two implementations of that particular abstract method. First class sales second class billing. This is one way we achieved the requirement. But the second way we did, after that, we achieved the same to same requirement using interface. In the interface, we have the method display. In a class, we use the interface in the second class also, we use the same interface. In first class, we wrote the logic for VBAK. In the second class, we wrote the logic for VBRK. So this is our second way to achieve the requirement. Now, third way, we achieved the same to same requirement just now by our third program using multiple inheritance. So what we did in this program, we have two interfaces. First interface, there is a method sales. Second interface, there is a method billing. And we included both the interfaces into a class and we wrote the code into those methods. So we achieved the same to same requirement by this third process. So in the last 10 to 15 videos, our requirement is same, but we achieved by different, different topics. Firstly, by abstract class. Second, by interfaces. Then we went for the difference between both of them and we achieved the requirement of multiple inheritance after that. So that's it of this particular topic. Thank you.